All right, so we're actually standing underneath a couple of trees here, which really stands out as having one of the best aromas and best scents here at the garden. It's been used for perfumes around the world, sometimes even called the Chanel Number no. 5 plant. And this is Kananga odorata. And it really captures people's attention. Actually, they smell it usually before they see it. And it's an interesting plant. It's from a, very, it's from a family Ananaceae, which is a group that's been around a long time. This family actually could be recognized in the late Cretaceous. So it was recognizable in the time of T. rex, which is old for flowering plants. When people were studying plant evolution, you know, 100 years ago, they split flowering plants into two groups, the monocots and dicots. And the monocots being things with flower parts in threes, like an iris, nice linear leaves, grasses, palms. And the dicots, you think more like a hibiscus, things with groups of five and you know, a complex venation or a leaf like this. And this is one of the groups where it kind of looked like both. It has kind of a dicot stem, but flower parts in threes. And so now that it's more understood with the molecular work, that this is actually an ancient group in the Magnoliids, a group of families that really has a long history and still makes a wonderful garden plant. It smells wonderful.